that is incorrect. But then, the other extreme is, I need to make tea! Do you know, like, squeezing yourself, making yourself small as possible. That sort of a mindset towards meditation is also incorrect. That's the second incorrect. Third incorrect is, I should not be distracted. ก็เรียนนะครับแต่ทําไมทําไมเรื่องนั้นเราสามารถที่จะมาจากสังเกตย่อหรือว่าในการเรียนรู้เรื่องเราสามารถจะเซ็นทรัลเดียวหรือว่
conclusive or a fruitful result of meditation is to way to recognize your distraction. You know, and way to recognize the distraction is that whenever appearing, whenever things appear in your mind, you don't have to acknowledge it, you don't have to reject it, just simply see the very reflection and the projection of thoughts and simply with that. And then you just simply gaze upon that and that the very temporary reflection of the mind tend to dissolve by itself. But then, if you have a strong attachment, that tend to appear, reappear again and again. So that sense of strength and awareness comes from continuation of meditation, continuation of renunciation, as in philosophy, as in mindset, within you, you know, so that is very important. Okay? So, and then, now enough talk with nonsense explanation. Uh, I will just go straight to the point. Otherwise, you will be thinking I'm advertising the name of the yoga and end up talking a lot of things, you know. <laughs> Some of you might be quite excited to do something, you know, with your body. Yeah. And then, yes, ah, that is lambi minduksen. To me, this thing, you know. So, the first step of the yoga is, of course, renunciation. The, there's a short phrase that I have discovered by myself is everything is impermanence, therefore, everything is perfect. That is my mental preparation method that I use to myself. You know, because the reason why we are very much distracted is when we are starting the practice, we want to reach to the primary. When we reach to the primary, we want to end the practice. And once we end the practice, then we want to tell our other Dharma brothers and sisters how many times we have done it. You know? And then eventually you are disappointed in yourself by not really achieving with the ideas that you have in your mind. You know? So therefore, Having some sort of an absence of the fixation when you start your practice is very important. You know, like an example when we are practicing, we say, This is not good, he said that, she said that, I have to do this, I have to do that. You know, 15 minutes of meditation will not change the world. world will continue to spin, your neighbor will be still there who criticize you, <laughs> who dislike you, who are jealous of you. That will continue to exist. So, how you develop a clarity in your mind is very important. And that is, everything is impermanent. ตัดไปมีอะไรที่อ่านเลยเลยแล้วสมมุติเนี่ยท่องที่อัพเดทมาสอนสันติจงเนี่ยจะเจอแล้วเนี่ยถ้าคงอะไรเป็นดูเจอ
<laughs> if you have that sort of a spiritual understanding, right? And then do a little bit, and then now I have to be kind to everybody. Yeah. Be compassionate to everybody. It doesn't work like that. You know? Your you know, mistakes, error in your life will continue to exist. But if you meditate and make a prayer with, I want to benefit all the sentient beings, some you come to get an injection for TV, some big with me, some big with Lola can do your way enough. Then you truly am not sure I'm not sure I'm not Then somebody may just be hungry. So if you want to be successful in life, you know, you have to be resilient. In order to be resilient, you have to dissolve your ego. You know, having an ego and wanting to be successful is contradiction to each other. Even you may succeed. You will definitely exhaust yourself and make far more enemies than friends. You know, so therefore, having some form of resilience is very important. And in order to develop that res resilience, you need to develop spiritual path that can dissolve your ego time and time again, but still can have a sense of self-concern, well-being for oneself, well-being for your family, well-being for your nation your neighbor, your country, and so on, you know. Ego can be left alone, and yet you can be still successful, you know. But at the same time, the fixation of the mind will continue to exist a little bit, you know. That will take more time to dissolve, you know. That, that is a subtle level of the ego. The ordinary ego of self-centered attitude is far more easier to dissolve than the subtle level of the ego of the self-fixation of oneself. Okay? So in order to develop our practice, the first stage of the practice of the evening is a breathing technique. Okay? So the breathing technique is breathing technique is that you have to keep your body in firm position, not too stiff, you know, not like a military, you know, like a military, they're like this, you know, chest is in the front, the backbone is all the way in, you know, so, anebe uh, nami wala, so bom jabda, anebe, relax, now I see, bom lechim be bom, I'm sorry, I'm trying to develop my donkha, and eventually some shakopa, you know, so, uh, keeping your back straight is important, but not too stiff. And then keeping your two hands on your uh, palm, you know, on your kneecap as a relaxed posture, that is important. A left leg in, right leg up, you know, external place, externally placed, and that is important. Keep your, keep your eyes in a non-existence, uh, non-object uh, non perspective. Not necessarily looking at this or that, but in between. And then, when you do the breathe out, you know, the way to breathe out is like this. When you, this is a teaching from the Dharmaka, you know, 15th, 15th century great master. So in his technique, in a Chasen Kauma, you know, in his technique he said, as you breathe out, you know, gently, softly, slowly, and keep your mind along with that. Don't count, you know, don't think about where the air is going, how the air is going, how long you should be, and how short you should be. None of that. When you're breathing out, Keep your mind still as it is. And then as the air runs out, you know, your mind has to be still in that present. You understand? So what? Long pa down the grassula. Long pa down the grassula. Then you get long the kawato song, kane ten song, you don't pray song down, 
As you breathe out from your nose, you know, and then keep your mind along with it. As the breath runs out, keep your mind exactly where it is. No need to search for anything new. Just have a sense of awareness to your distraction. Make, keep in mind, awareness is, you know, the opposite of concentration. Okay? So don't concentrate. Simply have a sense of awareness of your present, of your mind, keeping along with the breath as you breathe out. And as you breathe in, exactly the same. As you breathe out, exactly the same. Don't count. And as you breathe in, exactly the same. As you breathe out, just like that. And gently stop counting the breath. Just let the mind as it is and simply meditate. Magom, magom, long, magom. Gom by him, and then go to Tungo in his own. So, when a gom said it, and say a little, there's so much among what I'm going to have your money. So, so to find Madame de la Tene, gom get on his in the chat of your own. The anti so good to teach my son's in my own. So, that's the first step. You know, so between the Niguma Yoga sequence, this is how you have to calm yourself. You know, you breathe out and keep your mind as it is, as you inhale and exhale. So, now, Now I have to teach you how to keep the air. Tandangaramsu what in Nanjingi, Shambaki, Jubadilla, and Nibu Megi Jubadilla, Tene, Casago, Zawa Niguchutus, 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 the Casala, Tene, two more Julie Milam Vesa Poa Pardo, Tene, two more, two middle money for Pardo, Zawa Niguchutu, Dombo Chacha Chembo, Yala Lankinamsum, Meto Kachukama, Tebuchimichum, Tene Shambi, and such a Nas, Nibu Megi, two more main big in Yamne, and is eager. Then 
Kalau ก็ซะบ่ชาเจชิมบุมอทเรเนพาดุกัสพาดุกัสละตินเปจตามาตุนเนชาเจชิมบุมอทเรเนจิเปซอนเนาะเนชาเจชิมบุมอทเรกวย
Sun Pa Dang Duk Gap Sula Rwa Dang Bo Chung Chung Che Rwa Dong Ka Ki Thong Kan De Lam Pe Dang Bo Dang Bo Dang Bo Bo Le Be Tama Tama De La At The Shoe Be Thank You Now All Of You Are My Guru Oh, talking about the Guru, I know that all of us, we are Vajrayana practitioners. There's a one thing I have to let you know. We should not have a blind faith just because somebody looks impressive, you know. So focus on the teachings of the Lord Buddha, practice. Once you develop enough quality, any reflection of the truth is Buddha, is the Guru. Okay, so don't be so dependent. When some people, when they come to me, you know the line, you know. Uh, some people, when they come to me, they say, Oh, they say, I like your teaching. Can I be your student? Can you be my guru? Then I tell them, of course, stay away. <laughs> That's how you be my student. What you need to learn is not my personality. What you need to learn is the teachings of the Lord Buddha. I will repeat, I will share what I have, what I don't know. I will send you to somebody else. That's the responsibility. You cannot say, this is my student, you know, almost like worse than getting married, you know. <laughs> my, this one, my student, you know, that kind of mindset is wrong, you know. So therefore, you know, if you have that kind of like my student, then how can you have a bodhicitta? How can you benefit all the same thing being? You know, you cannot have that kind of a very close, narrow mindset. Just like that, you should not have a mindset towards the Guru either. You, know, you should see the Guru as a spiritual figure, that you, see, that you receive a teaching, be grateful, rejoice, that's it. Go back to your home, practice. Once you have a progress, then have a question, have a debate, have that good relation. After that, go back again. Don't, don't hang around. It doesn't help. Yeah. There's a lot of politics around the Guru. Yeah. And it's not something new, you know. I'm not trying to be revolutionary, Kalurumpuche, being westernized by Chilek Zumbe, Sundes. It's not like that, you know. If you look at the history of all the great masters, you know, there always is a politics around the great master because there's a lot of competition with who is what and what title they have and general secretary and Changzhu. And, and all of that. It exists a long, long time ago. It's nothing new. But if you don't read the history, of course it's new. But if you read the history, all of that has been existing throughout the centuries. You know? Even the Milareba, you know, Marva Lozawa had a servo son. Milareba was treated worse than a human being. But still, you know, he was devoted more than anything. You know? And still, the family was treated more important than anything else. But at the end, Mehrabha became the first Mahasiddha of Tibet. You know? So the politics is always there. It's not something new. You should not question the teachings of the Lord Buddha just because of that. People will always make a mistake. But faith in Dharma must remain. But that should not be collided with a blind faith either. You know? So, so that's that. You know, so that if you have that kind of flexibility mindset, you can expand the Lord Buddha's teaching. If you have a very narrow mindset, you will benefit less. So therefore, go receive teachings, empowerment, you know, but don't get fixated. You know, dedicate to the Dharma, teachings of the Lord Buddha, practice what you can, and rest of the things, let it alone. So that's that. Okay. So when you breathe out, long path down to cross the then college, tango together, tamade then ajushube, right? And take a look again. Okay. Yeah. Now just let's take a chance to run. That you can do before any practice. 
if you're doing your morning jambit center practice or dojishaba practice or thado practice you can attach that you know when you wake up in the morning you can do that okay now i will teach you how to keep the air so you breathe out right same but when you inhale don't inhale too much if you inhale too much then you cannot keep it keeping too long is not the key of the tumo keep it in a good pace and maintaining that is the key because then eventually you can increase the capacity of how much your body and your lungs can hold you know but in the beginning keeping long as possible is not really important so the way to keep the air is like this you breathe out long pa ta chi te long su zong de ka shi la ka cha chi ka cha chi ge che ka long su zong de ka shi ka cha sum shi ten de mai ba so wa shi ni yun gu ba so wa long su te long su de ka shi la long de te ma en de ma nen te ne su su zu pu yo wa your lower part of the body okay tighten up a little bit not too much you know if you say ah wo long kum ya ne ma nen su pe chik sama ma ngota wa na ne se ba yin do you know if you think too much that ah, i have to pull it from the bottom suppress it from the top if you think and do practice like that then then your mind is distracted again you know so don't think and worry too much and just simply inhale don't keep the air in your head that will give you a headache okay no kidding really Okay, so then you inhale a little bit, and then keep it over here, and then pull it up. You know, tighten the lower part of your body here. You know, and then keeping the air over here. That's lung pum jin. Okay, so lung pum jin goes over here. Okay, so in the beginning you can start with 10 second, 12 second, and things like that. You don't have to do 60 second or one minute. You know. So I will demonstrate to you first. Yeah, please take a look. Long zong du ga su la. Na go ni long song ge de wa. Long song du ga su la. Mang bo tang ko ma de. So wa. Nyung gu be. Tang bo ga sha chi. And the long now go tang. Long now go tang du ga su la. Ya ni fa de ma ne. Ma le de ya tang. So wa. Shu ge bo ma de. So wa. To ni second ma, second chu. Tasani, yeah. Inhale the air a little bit. You know, that's how you can maintain. Then, when you cannot hold it long enough, then breathe it out. Yeah. Okay. I will demonstrate to you. Take a look. At least today I will try to finish two postures. Okay, it's already eight o'clock.
Yeah. Like when you breathe out, breathe in, and you bring your hand slowly from the external part of your leg, not like this rushing, you know. And then gently bringing it up and place it to your groin. Groin is the arms of Lashan and Ayurva and the Togo Tanakamba. Oh, they do. Then, love the Aneva Tangola. And talk to Do it on time. Talk to Lazar. Talk to Lazar. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 ทาอันเวทาเบลัดดิลัดดิอานาชาวะละชาดิลัดเมนชาดิชาดิฮานาชาวะอานเมนอานาเนี่ยอานาเบทาชาดิชาดิ ชัดเลยที่ตรงอันนี้เลยยืนนั่งเลยชาเลยยืนเลยชิกาชาเลยอันนี้ชัดชัดยืนบัดนี้เอาเลยอันนี้เลยชาเลยยืนอันนี้
You have to be in control. If you just move your leg like this, it's not, <laughs> not right. When you move right to left, you have to be in control. For firm position. Kuzuti, ding ribe, move bev. And it loose swimming. How do you say? Not like swimming, you know? Che che I don't remember. When you make a movement, Kuzuti, ha, chongi kapsula. You let the air out, you inhale, keep on doing the posture, keep the habit of your body more important. The capacity of your lungs and the air will develop afterwards. Okay? So now the second posture of Niguma. <laughs> I lost control when you say yellow. We have 27 to go. <laughs> Please. We can do it. Okay. So, 
I will do I will do the preliminary start. Okay, so you do breathe out, inhale. Have a seat first. Okay, salala shu tambo tenkan shi zik. Tini na wan shi tuwa. Okay, when you stand up, then it goes like this, you know. You place your hand around here, right? Then your body goes like this. One, two, three, and then anti-clockwise. One, two, three, and then placing the hand, chadi hanevisha, and then lift the kamba shabdi tingvadiya atsi chava hanevi. Hanevi chi. Then Together, shuba now I can do it. Together means you can sit down slowly. <laughs> so, so you can do like this. You know you. It's important that when you are coming down, you know, ma sagam shudu kasula chagi habitte. Shall we get some way? Marshall, the class, child in this, yash, child, me, child, me, the yash. Then face it inwards, then slowly just sit down like that. Child, trigger, never, yeah, the can on the board, then shoot, chill on every now. Chadi, Hane, Chica, Dundalu, Mashu, same timing. Okay? Don't separate these two. So, you see? Slowly. Okay? Okay. So that's the second posture. Third posture. Then we will do the first and the second. I will repeat again. Third one, Trukur Rimbasumbadi and Dresha. So, and so, remember, Tango Nain Kotsugi. Teringi Tundi, Tango Miba Sumba Se, Sam Shana Degi Tundi, Tango Miba Sumba Se, Tango Di, Cha Di Ta Ta. The first posture, exhale through the fingers, through your nose, right? Then inhale a little bit, bring your hand slowly. On your groin, like this, and then remember movement with control. Gujuta and Chikuma, Suku, Gujuta and Chikuma, Gujuta and Tukasula, control the firm position is important. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then the left shoulder moving forward to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then, then you exhale. Okay. Now, the second one is like this, right? I'm sorry, I have to put the mic over here. So, 
second one, Kungo Nibadi, Tenderish, Long de Pata, Long de Chulson, Tene Dojikitum Mashix, Dojikitum Mashi, Shabdi, Sempikitum La Yena Digri, in Jimmy Dojikitum Gogumari, Chalk and the Naya Dication Boy. If you have a cross leg, that's how you untie it. Dojikituma shigwa. If you don't have a cross leg, then just simply keep the habit. Yeah. So the ditane they are shing. Yeah, Then it's awesome.